hello i trust that you're doing well welcome to miss fountain channel you go to destination for insightful and engaging educational content here we explore a wide range of topics from science and history to technology and beyond prepare to expand your knowledge and spark your curiosity with the carefully crafted videos subscribe now and join us on our journey of discovery in today's session we're going to briefly look at a uh, collection and packaging of evidence And what is evidence? Evidence can be defined as uh, any exhibit or testimony presented in relation to a crime. And when it comes to collection of evidence, the procedure is important to avoid uh, missing some evidence, to avoid the contaminating the evidence, all that, and also for the security of the evidence because an evidence is important as it determines the direction a, a case takes when it comes to procedure it's important to carefully evaluate and collect the various uh, physical evidence careful evaluation and collection is important must pre must be properly packaged sealed and labeled properly packaged depending on the type of evidence it is because that determines the the package materials to be used it must be properly sealed and must be well labeled labeling of evidence is very important to avoid the, it mixing up to avoid cross contamination it is it's also important to obtain standard or reference samples from the scene from our previous videos, we learned the importance of different samples when it comes to forensic studies or forensic evidence. If you've not watched that video, kindly watch it so that we can be together. It's also important to avoid excessive handling of evidence. You only handle when it's when it's necessary. And labeling is an important thing. Also use appropriate packaging materials and appropriate packaging materials is dependent on the type of material that that's being collected the, on the type of evidence that's being collected and it's also important to observe uh, the chain of custody for the integrity of the evidence contamination control how do you oh, prevent contamination of evidence this is at the at the scene when the evidence is being collected. These are the some of the major points. Access to scene is should be limited to people only directed involved in the scene processing. That's at this point members of the public are not allowed into the scene. At this point you only need the the experts that are collecting the evidence. Since the the scene is secured, preventing all the others from getting in, because the if everybody came in, everyone wants to have a look. They're gonna there there'll be contamination of the evidence. Also, follow designated entry and exit routes at the scene. At the scene, for the experts collecting the evidence and analyzing the scene. The design ex entry and exit paths to to avoid tampering with the evidence. So following them could be important in preventing contamination of the evidence. Secure the secure area for trash and equipment should be identified. Also, use of personal protective equipment that is a uh, to prevent. And contact DNA. Maybe maybe they got injured for injured in the scene. It might their blood might end up in the scene. That's why using of uh, personal protective equipment is important and also for their safety. Because in a crime scene you don't know whether the evidence that state is harmful or not harmful to them as human beings. 
so here the personal protective equipment is protecting the, the forensic experts in the scene and also the evidence in the scene we also have utilization of single-use equipment or apparatus for biological specimen using uh, the equipment and the packaging materials should be the materials that should be used are those that are only used once and then disposed because recycling them you know sure that they are well cleaned and that may cause a uh, cross contamination yeah so utilization of single-use equipment or apparatus for biological specimen is a very important factor when it comes to contamination control that's what we were to look at in today's session today's session was brief and direct to the point thank you for joining us we hope you gained valuable insights and knowledge from today's video don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content and remember learning never stops until next time stay curious and keep exploring